taking in spiritual truths as they come and embracing whatever small amount that might be. Being satisfied with enough. Hello, welcome back. We are continuing diving through astrology two degrees at a time. We're taking a look at symbolism, insight, psychological profiling. Each of the 360 degrees of the zodiac are completely unique. Thanks for joining me. My name is Kim. And if you're new and would like a little more insight, there are two videos in the description. One is on crystal wisdom, it helps you out with what am I talking about when I talk about the crystals, and the beginning of this very long series, which is coming to a close. We're about three weeks out from having all of the degrees in the can. Without further ado, let's get on to Virgo 14, an aristocratic family tree a collection of diamonds of many different colors, a long steel screw. Someone writes a book of imaginary future history, a man writing the story of an old illustrious family. The stone here is pink fluorite. It calms a troubled mind, cools anxiety, nervousness, apprehension. It is very helpful with nerve issues in regards to public speaking, performing arts. It is grounding and reduces pain. It heals respiratory issues, skin problems. It is a stone of discernment and aptitude, bringing responsibility to intuition. It purifies the body. So here I think we're dealing with a couple of different things. Number one, ancestry ancestral roots, the root of issues, the root cause of issues. And how do we make something blossom? We have to have strong roots to begin with. If we get into a crisis, the long screw is talked about where you just back out the screw and come out the way you went in. Paying attention to root causes and if we're trying too hard, that's the long screw, trying to hold on to something, that maybe we are trying too hard. There's issues with trying too hard here. When we put something together that is meant to be together, it feels right. It goes smoother. It's just an easier fit and it's more enduring. Avoiding trying so hard. Breathe. <laughs> Let it come to you let it flow, be in the flow. If we're trying so hard to get to an end, we're missing the steps in the middle. The power is always in the flow, right here, right now. We have to embrace the softness, not just the long screw trying to hold something together. Embracing the softness of color with the hard diamonds. So a collection of diamonds, they're all very hard, they can cut glass but they're in colors here. So we're softening with the heart. We're embracing that. Writers writing about history, making up history is going on here. Digging into the past of families. Digging into history of families. Creating history. Just making it up understanding that whatever it is we're dealing with right here right now didn't just happen it has a root cause it has a basis for how it is the way it is if we're constantly trying to make sense of how something works why something is looking for more looking for more it impedes the flow so here we're being asked to just flow allow a softening and letting things come, falling into place. Don't try so hard. Let's take a look at Pisces. A lady wrapped in a large stole of fox fur, a medicine woman wearing the talismans of her totem animals. Deep in a cave, a boy discovers a fire elemental. Unconcerned with how he is to escape, a man explores an infinite library. After a feast, much uneaten food remains on a plate. 
The stone here is yellow diamond. It brings us joy, positivity, confidence, creativity, inner happiness, intellectual clarity. It resonates with the root chakra and the solar plexus. It is grounding. It enhances feelings of security and safety, stability. It gives us constancy, dedication, encourages trust in relationships and situations. It attracts abundance, boosts our charm. It can draw attention to our skills and it boosts our power. Interesting, one of the symbols on the Virgo axis is diamonds, colored diamonds, and here we have a yellow diamond. So yellow diamond is strong here. The woman wrapped in a fox fur, fox is the key. Foxes are cunning, intelligent. They know how to be sly. So there's a need and the ability to hide our willpower here, to hide what we're about. And the medicine woman wearing the talismans of her totem animals. So it's taking cover through gentility with the aristocratic family on the other end, through glamour, we're hiding. It's a form of protection through glamour, through wearing beautiful clothing. There's sometimes a need to protect what we're about. When we're on the path of getting into the unseen realms, it can bring out opposition. It brings out enemies. People oppose us, and so sometimes there's a need to keep that under wraps. So that's what we're talking about here with the fox fur. It can just be about glamour, but here there's a deeper context with the fox. Intelligence being the key with fox. Hiding the true will. We're talking about an uncontrollable urge to learn things. The man being unconcerned with getting lost explores the infinite library, but the opposite is also being shown with the people having had a big feast. There's a lot of food left on the plates. So embracing enough is enough, taking in manna from heaven, taking in spiritual truths as they come, and embracing whatever small amount that might be. being satisfied with enough, feeling satiated with what we have, with what we are presented with. Some things we're not ready for, and until we're ready for it, we take each breath, we take each bit of manna from heaven, and we rejoice, we enjoy it, we feel satiated. And we stay that way as best we can in the moment, in the flow, until the next comes. Knowing that when we're ready, the door opens. Until then, be satisfied. And it will take away some of the frustration and the trying to push and make things work when maybe it's not time to make things work. The long screw on the other end. Flow and allow be satisfied. There's completeness even in the smallest part that we get. Believe that. Embrace that. It'll go easier. The spiritual realm protecting itself with the fox fur and us protecting ourselves. We don't tell everything. We're truthful, but we don't show our hands all the time. Sometimes it's dangerous to do so. So feeling satiated with what we have not trying too hard, wearing a coat of fur, a fox fur, when it is called for. So that's what I have for you today. Thanks so much for being here. Give me a like if you're enjoying these. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if these degrees are strong in your chart and you'd like to leave some insight if you have a different take on these symbols. And until next time, take care.